<laughs> You've beaten three reigning world champions. Yes. I mean, so it's just a logical thing that you'll be the next champion again on Saturday. Well, I mean, you, you can't solely go on that, but um, I mean, that's that that helps. Um, what, what I can solely go on is my faith, my faith in Christ. You know, um, my strength is in is in Christ, man. Uh, I can do all things through Him who strengthens me, and that's I believe it, man. You know, uh, I don't see it, but I believe it. That's faith. So, uh, with the victories over those other three champions, you know, that helps me, that builds me, because I'm like, wow, these guys are world champions. Why, uh, why am I not? Well, it's uh, an exciting night, Saturday. Two world championships, the middleweight world championship, obviously between uh, Sebastian Sylvester and the mandatory challenger Roman Karmazin. Uh, then uh, in the second main event we have uh, Steve Cunningham fighting Troy Ross for the vacant IBF Cruiserweight World Championship. Um, so it's going to be an exciting night of boxing, that's for sure. How do you rate uh, Sebastian Sylvester's chances? Um, I think that uh, Sebastian's improved immensely since changing trainers uh, a couple of years ago after the, uh, the Felix Storm defeat. And uh, he's come on fight by fight, he's got better and better. Uh, he's even surprised some of us at how far he's been able to go and, and uh, tonight will be a real test uh, to his ability and uh, I, I'm confident though. What about Steve Cunningham, the latest new addition to Team Sauerland? Yeah, I mean Steve's an excellent addition to the team obviously, um, a two-time world champion and uh, now hoping to, to complete the hat-trick this weekend. So uh, we know what Steve brings to the ring. He, uh, has performed excellently on a Sauland event show before. Uh, we don't need reminding of that. He beat uh, our now world champion Marco Hook. So um, the fact is that we uh, we've signed Steve because uh, he's a great athlete, and uh, we believe that he will become world champion on. Troy Ross, welcome to Germany. You'll be fighting for the vacant IBF cruiserweight title. What are your feelings out of the big fight? Well, I just want to thank the Germans for um, um, Sutherland for bringing me here and um, Steve Cunningham for accepting the fight. And um, I'm looking forward to a great fight. How's the going here? Um, everything's been great, man. It, it was awesome. Uh, time we spent in Berlin and we came here. Uh, you know, got time, time to do some shopping, hit the train, you know, um, do a couple shopping things for family and, and just relax and just keep it moving, man, towards being a champion again. You'll be fighting Troy Ross for the vacant IBF Cruiserweight yes. title. Yes. What do you think of this? Um, I think it's I think it's great. I think it's a great fight. I think it's a great opponent. You know, um, don't get me wrong. He's 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 nothing to uh, take lightly. But uh, you know, we got to get in here and make it look easy. You know, um, we put in a lot of hard work, and um, you know, we uh, bring a new Steve USS Cunningham. You know, we've been preparing to bring new stuff out and do different things. So uh, and that's what you're going to see come Saturday. Mr. Ross gegen Oleg Platov mit 30 Kämpfen, 28 Siegen und die beiden auch. Hast du mal sehen, geht mal zusammen. Geht mal zu, ja, so. Geht mal richtig zusammen. Ja, so ist gut. Und dann kam er los, Verschatz.